Hello, my name is Jumbles Gaming, and this is my second time having to go through this recording. I got done through a first season. What we're going to do is we're going to be doing Football Mogul 15. I like the game. Still trying to figure it out. Uh, I know there's newer ones, but this one's the one I've heard the most about. <laughs> um, but we're going to do this. So, as you can see, resume previously saved game. I lost credit. It's annoying. Went under J. Coach difficulty. Uh, I don't know what team I'm going to be doing. We're going to start from 1990 probably. Maybe not 1990. Um, Let's go 1995 where all but one team was in the league. Uh, I don't know what to expect from this team. The Cowboys defeated the Pittsburgh Steelers 2017-7. 27 to 17 in the 30th Super Bowl. Uh, this will all be fine. I don't know what simulation mode means, though. Can I get help on what that means, game? Yeah. Um, part of what makes football enjoyable is the degree of unpredictability each time you play. One young player might develop into a superstar the first time you play and be mediocre next. Super simulation. Okay, yeah, I like randomness. Let's go with it. Um, and Blake. 1995 Seahawks. I don't remember anything particularly amazing. This is right before the major rebuild that led to Matt Hasselbeck and Sean Alexander. We got Steve Brassad. Was he really on the Seahawks? Steve Brassard. Yeah. Steve Brassard. Yep, CLC Ox 1995. Just want to make sure it's accurate. So we've got a pretty dang good running back here. More of a receiving running back, though, at this point. Uh, we got Christian Fora. A young Christian Fora. Dude played till he was like 37 or something. He was crazy. We got Steve Smith. He's a big old boy. Wow. So he ran the ball a decent amount. Okay, and we're back. Sorry. This is weird. I'm going to change this, even though it's going to ruin. Because he's not supposed to be playing this position. Hopefully it doesn't ruin it too much. 91, 91. 80, 80. Gosh dang it. Steve Smith's a running back. I had to look it up to make sure. But yeah, Steve Smith's a running back. Because I don't remember a really good receiver named Steve Smith. Turns out, we never did have one. Because, well, Steve Smith's a running back. <laughs> Let's auto sort real quick. We're also gonna probably do a uh, traditional offense. Auto sort there. We got Joey Galloway, a young Joey Galloway. That's who we're gonna be building this offense around so far. We also got Ricky Prohl. I wonder if he's related to Austin Prohl, a uh, player who played for the Seattle Dragons in the AAF. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, we have Howard Ballard, 31 year old tackle. Jeff Blackshear, guard. Jim Sweeney. I wonder if he's related to, uh... Why am I forgetting his name? J.R. Sweeney? And I'm back in... Yeah. He's not. <laughs> um, Sweeney. James Atkins. A young guard. Okay. Ray Roberts. Another young tackle. Okay. Uh, oh no. Is that who we have? We got John Freeze from Washington because we have Rick Meyer at no <laughs> Rick Meyer at quarterback. Running back we have Lamar Smith who we need to start. Homie it looks like a beast. Holy crap, he looks good. And then back he was definitely not undrafted. He's a third round pick. Apparently, he was involved in a DUI, I found out, looking him up, that left one of his teammates paralyzed. Thankfully, it seems like he had his life turned around after that, because, and I would assume so, that's very traumatic, because he was actually invited to be in NFL Europe's coaching internship program. Interesting. So, he's definitely going to be, if it wasn't for Steve Brassad, we would definitely be putting him in. In fact, maybe we do a two running back system. And then, yeah, put Lamar Smith there. Christian Fora, uh, Joey Galloway, Ricky Prohl. 
Uh, but James McKnight? I have a feeling he's a running back, too, knowing this game. <laughs> um, Ronnie Harris. Okay, so... Also, why is... Wait, we have Kevin Malway? No, man. Kevin Malway's gonna start. Kevin Malway's definitely gonna start. It ain't even... Uh, nah, fam. 25. Jeff Blackshear is 26. How old is Jim Sweeney? 32. So, yeah, we're probably not gonna be starting him because, well... Long career... I mean, we did just sign him, but, like... We'll probably trade him to make up for that. Because we got some young center... That needs developed as well, and so we can figure out what we'll do with it. Uh, but yeah, Jim Sweeney's probably gonna be traded. Um, because Kevin Malway deserves to start. He he he's great. Whew. I am ecstatic about this team. We are running the ball, by the way. We're gonna ground and pound, boys. <laughs> ground and pound. Uh, yeah, maybe even more than that. Maybe like a yeah plus ten percent probably because we still want Joey Galloway to get some snaps. We got Michael McCrary. 6427. Not too shabby. Tony Brown. Whoo, we got a great tackle. That, that ain't no. Tony Brown ain't no D tackle. We're going to have to fix some of this stuff. <laughs> the DB. I'm going to put him at safety because of how they have his stats. Ooh, his, his overall plummets. Yeah, he ain't no uh, DB. Sorry, uh, Henry McMillian. Okay, good. This guy can actually play D-tackle. <laughs> the guy was like 180 pounds, so I wasn't going to put him there. Okay, good. We got at least one good D-tackle. We got Joe Nash. Sick. We got... Oh, my goodness. This man is a legend. Cortez Kennedy. A little bit of a down stretch of 14 seconds. Man, it was... Beast. We got Winston Moss, Dwayne Bickett, Trey Wooden, Carlton Gray, Selwyn Jones, Robert Blackman, Jay Bellamy, Brent Williams. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. So we're definitely going to need to work on this defense. Steve Smith at running back. Yeah, that's fine. Is he the fastest, though? 83, 83, and then Steve Smith is... 84. Yeah, we want him at returner then. Our, we got Rick Tutton, Todd Pearson. Yeah, 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 yeah. What do we have in terms of free agents? Just overall free agents. Like best players available. We got Sean Relay. Probably going to be no one amazing. We got Jeff Gravelizzi. So let's sign him. Uh, seven year deal. Thank you. Um... Jonas Heron. Heron? I don't know. Um. We definitely need. I don't know. Um. We're going to have to. Trading block. Where's my boy? Uh. Jim Sweeney. We want. Cornerbacks? I believe it was. Oh, yeah. We got to actually add him. Add him. Okay, so we got Smith Thomas, or Thomas Smith, I don't know if that's, I believe that's in the right order, okay. So, let's see, is there any, ooh, what are you like? Oh, I can't check, okay, um, I like the guys with potential, because maybe they can be better than what they're even telling us. I like this trade right here with, who is it with, um, Buffalo, I like it. It's a mid-offer. Signed deal. Cool. So we got a new corner. And yes, corner was the position I was really worried about. So we can now put in... Oh, we also got the new linebacker too. Auto sort. Yep, 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 yep. Sweet. Cortez Candy. Brim. Okay, yep, 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 yep. Oh, we also got Sam Adams. Big old Sam Adams there. Ooh, 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 Sam Adams would be a fun one to put in. Antonio Edwards. Mike Sinclair. That's another big name player that I remember. Um, Jeff Gravelis. We'll, we'll try to figure out what to do with him. 
Uh, Eugene Robinson. Why is he not getting playing time? I guess because Jay Bellamy and Robert Blackman are really good. Um, yeah. Thomas Smith hasn't been great, but 5'11", great tackler, surprisingly. Decent coverage, decent run defender. He, he's solid. He's not going to be electric, but he's solid, which is exactly what we need. So now we can get into this. If I look, the leaders, all-time leaders, Dan Marino, Mo Warren Moon, John Elway, Dave Craig. Oh, Dave Craig was on the all-time list. I didn't know. Also, I did not know that Dave Craig went to KC, then Detroit. That part th throws me off a little bit. I didn't realize that. Uh, Boomer Esiason, Jim Kelly, Jim Everett, Bernie Kosar, Randall Cunningham, Steve Young. I think this is pretty accurate. Marcus Allen. Emmett Smith's rising up. Herschel Walker. Barry Sanders. Or maybe what it could be doing. What it could be doing is doing the all-time leaders of the current players and then going from there. Because I believe Steve Largent should be in this list, if that was the case. Because Steve Largent was at like 10K. There's Chris Carter. Looking fresh. Alright, so here we go. I believe we're on the AFC at this point, right? AFC standings. AFC West, yes. Okay, so we, first we're playing division rival Oakland Raiders. Or were they in LA? I don't know. Uh, we've got a great running game, definitely. A great passing game, definitely. The defense suspect. Good run defense, but our pass defense is atrocious. Thankfully, I think we can still win this game. And we lose. Ouch. Thanks, John Freeze. You suck. Um, for some reason, we got Tracy Johnson involved. What? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Um... I forgot to do this. Probably be a smart idea. Um, load offensive playbook. Um, what kind of offense would we want to run? Probably a not a fun and gun. Probably a pistol offense. That way we can utilize two running. But yeah, I think we're gonna run a pistol offense before it was even cool. All right, cool. So now we're going to be playing the... Oh, were they in LA or St. Louis at this point? St. Louis Rams, who... Oh, boy. Was this the greatest show on turf time? Or right before it? Because five-star passing, four-star running. Oh, boy. Oh, we won. Hey, Mark Ripon was their quarterback? Mark Ripon, huh? That's crazy. John Freeze trash again, but at least Steve Brassad and Steve's... Perfect. The offense doing what I was hoping it would do. We got Steve Brassad and... Or, yeah, Steve Brassad and Steve Smith involved. It wasn't supposed to be Steve Smith, though, but regardless, Ricky Prohl did his thing as well. Dwayne Bickett, Carlton Gray, Robert Blackman got a pick, Todd Pearson did his thing. Uh, yeah. That's all fine and dandy. Um... Let me make sure my running backs are right. Lamar Smith should have been getting playing time, not Steve Smith. But Steve Smith's not horrible, so if he gets some playing time, I don't really care. Now we're playing the Colts, which is pre-Peyton Manning, right? So yeah, they're not amazing. They got a pretty good defense, though. And they beat us, which I'm not too upset about because we're going to be tanking. Jim Harbaugh is their quarterback. Marshall Folk, Marcus Polar, they had a pretty good team there least some good weapons uh freeze really at this point i'm not surprised steve Brassad, gosh dang it go away tracy johnson christian fora joey galloway did his thing christian fora did too though ricky prohl henry mcmillian winston moss thomas smith robert blackman Corey Harris. is it possible can i just you know fire our fullbacks i really don't want him getting the ball Yes, release. I do not want a fullback. I'd rather them put this. I'd rather them put Max Strong at fullback than that dude that's really old. And I'd rather them put in Chris Warren or Steve Smith. I'd rather them put in Rick Meyer because at least you know maybe it'll help him develop, even though it's at the wrong position. Tim Tebow, but it'd be better than playing a veteran fullback that's not even good. Now we're playing the Houston Oilers, who look. 
utterly horrible. And we still lose because that's how this game likes to work sometimes. Chris Chandler, that's about it, really. They're, this team sucks. And we still lost. And John Fries finally plays Steve Brassad. Awesome. Christian for. Ooh, Rob Thomas. Uh, Cortez Candy a sack. Dwayne Bickett, fine dandy. All right, and then now we're going to go to week six. Uh, leaders. So right now, the leaders are Steve Young of the San Francisco 49ers with 1,500 yards, 12 touchdowns, 6 picks, as well as 38 yards rushing. Nothing crazy there. Chris Chandler of Houston. That's a little bit surprising. Receiving, we got Jake Reed. Didn't expect that either. I mean, not don't get me wrong. Great receiver, but definitely didn't think he'd be leading. Johnny Kez McCar Kenan McArdle. I know that name. Uh, okay. Neil Smith, Jesse Armstead, Henry Thomas, Robert Porcher, Sean Dronet. Some of these guys might just be out of position as well. I mean, we saw with ours. Barry Sanders, though. Let's go. Barry Sanders, man. Not undrafted, but we'll go with it. How are his... What? 84 speed, 88 power, 82 quickness, 84 vision, 44 receiving, 64 hand. Are we talking about the same Barry Sanders? I mean, no, he's not a receiving threat, but Barry Sanders is better than this. What is y'all talking about with these ratings sometimes? Raymond Harris. Don't even know who that is, but apparently he's way better than stinking Barry Sanders. Ricky Waters. I know him. Apparently sucks too, even. What? Curtis Martin, come on. Okay, he's a rookie this year, so of course he's not going to be amazing. But, hey, he's getting plays. Uh, interceptions, five for Leroy Butler, Venice Glenn, Kurt Schultz, Eric Turner. Ryan. I know a lot of offensive players from this time period, not anything else. Dan Reno, like those kind of guys. Reggie White, is he playing? Yes, he is just... Okay, four and a half sacks. That's not too shabby. Richard Dent, Bruce Smith... Wait, Reggie White was really that high above Bruce Smith? 32, 33. Okay, so Bruce Smith just must have played for like 10. I mean, I know he played for like 10 million years, but I didn't expect it to be that many years. Sheesh. Because he's still 190 sacks away from where he would get to. Uh, Anyone else that I recognize? Kevin Green. Linebacker getting his thing done. Nice. Uh... Leslie O'Neill. Oh, Eugene Robinson's leading the league in interceptions at this point. That's not true, but of current players at least. Rod Woodson. Uh, Deion Sanders. Alright, alright, I, I dig it. Kelvin Martin, Chris Carter. Okay, 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 okay. Anyways, now on to the next section. We got the Broncos this week. Looks like it's going to be a good game, but who knows. And we win 21-20. to John Elway gets stuffed. Who else they got here? That's interesting. Really, it's just John Elway. <laughs> Jason Elam. Uh, John Freeze went all out. Uh, Steve Brissot. We threw to three different tight ends. Joey Galloway did his thing. Uh... Cortez Candy a sack. Sack for... And an INT for Dwayne Bickett. Terry Wooden got a sack. Todd Peterson was perfect. Awesome. Now we're playing the Raiders again. And hopefully we can win this time. And we do. 34-7. to And a... Eh. Game from John Freeze. Rick Meyer came in. Rick Meyer came in. Wow. It just does not want me to click Rick Meyer. Apparently. Whatever. Steve Brassad had an amazing game, though. No, I want Steve Brassad. An amazing game for Steve Brassad. Steve Smith, a touchdown. Joey Galloway, pretty good. Ricky Prohl, pretty good. Mike Barber, sack. Pick from Blackman. Pick from Robinson, sick. Todd Pearson, perfect game. Cool. This is looking good all of a sudden. Maybe we will go for a playoff push. Cleveland Browns, also 3-3. Three three. This is a pretty good game. It's a pick -em game, which... Makes sense. Both teams are pretty good at running and passing. Defenses are on the weak side. I think we should win this, but it's a it's easily anyone's game. 
26 to 15, we win. John Freeze had an okay game. Steve Broussard did his thing. Christian Forard did his thing. Joey Galloway did his thing. Michael McCrary, a sack. Cortez Kennedy, a sack. Trey Wooden, a pick. Carlton Gray, a pick. Thomas Smith, a pick six. Jay Bellamy, a pick. Uh, Vinny Tessaverde. I didn't know he was on the Browns. He really played for the Browns? I didn't realize that. I knew he played for the Jets in Tampa Bay, but I didn't know he played for the Browns. Ricky Powers. Uh, Kenan McCardle. I forgot he did, too. That's not who I was clicking, but okay. There we go. Wow, he started off his career in Cleveland? I thought he played for the Chargers and Chiefs and stuff. Um. Yeah, ooh. Randall Cunningham leading the Eagles to a win. Nice. Ripen leading his team to win. Cool, cool, cool. And then now we're playing the Chiefs. I don't know how good the Chiefs are or bad. Oh, hopefully this is a win. And we go 5-3 and three now. Steve Bono. Oh, no. He did pretty well for himself. Freeze has just been a tragedy. Steve Brissot. Finally, Lamar Smith. Steve Smith. Yes, just utilize all the running backs in the world. And then give Christian Fora and Joey Galloway and maybe even Ricky Prohl some catches. And that's good. Michael McCrary, two sacks. Let's go. Our kicker only missed one field goal. Um, Anything interesting from them? Derek Thomas. RIP to one of the greatest of all time. Did he really have 20 sacks in one season? How did I forget that? Dude was a beast. Like, genuinely. Tracy, Simeon, George Jameson. Uh, da, 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 da. No one really exciting besides Derek Thomas. Anyways, we're at the halfway mark. And we have a leader in absolutely nothing. Uh, Scott Mitchell is leading the league in yards. 13 touchdowns, 8 picks. Okay, then. Steve Young, 2,200 yards. 8 touchdowns, 6 picks is a great ratio, though. Uh, Dan Marino. Ouch. Dan Marino has really fallen off, apparently. Brad Johnson. Oh, this is young Brad Johnson. I say relatively. He's 27. 2,000 yards, 13 touchdowns, 9 picks. Okay. Tommy Maddox with... Wow, I didn't realize he played for that many teams for Pittsburgh. 2,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, 14 picks. Chris Chandler, 20, 2,000 yards, 10 touchdowns, 13 picks. Ew. Vinny, 2,013 touchdowns, 14 picks. Ooh. Randall Cunningham, looking great. 2,000 yards, 16 touchdowns, 2 picks. He's having a real comeback. Nevada, Las Vegas, so UNLV. Okay. Jake Reed, Brian Reeves. Da, 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 da. Anyone interesting? Kenny McCardle. Uh, Warren Sapp. A young Warren Sapp. Eight and a half sacks for his first year in Tampa Bay so far. Shoo. John Randall. Really? Only a 78 overall after the season he had been having at that point? Weird. Nine and a half sacks though, so I guess it doesn't even matter. Uh, no one else crazy besides Robert Porcher out of nowhere having a breakout year. Curtis Martin. Uh... Barry Sanders, 605. Ricky Waters. Okay, then. Interesting, interesting. Uh, so, for the standings, we are right behind Denver. The rest of the division, ugh, not looking so good, which means we're going to have a lot of guys in the division getting good picks, which I'm not a big fan of. Okay. Playoff picture, if the playoffs were to start today, we would be in the playoffs. Sick. We would, in fact, be in the playoffs. 